Hello everyone. Uh, this presentation is entitled Hadef Suwaif as an Immigrant Writer. Uh, the main aim of this presentation is to discuss Hadef Suwaif and her work as belonging to the movement of new immigrant literature in general. That's why uh, the presentation tackles Hadef Suwaif's works as mainly based on the conceptual metaphor of translation. Adef Suwaif is a writer and a translator at the same time. She writes in English, but she translates culturally and linguistically her experience of the homeland Egypt. The title of this slide is Translation and Migration. The question is, what is common in both? Translation and migration are based on in-betweenness. What is meant by in-betweenness? Uh, it is that sense of uh, the contact between two cultures and two places. So Susan Bastnett, one of the post-colonial and translation studies theorists, defines translation as involving an international journey between a point of origin and a target destination. This concept of translation can be used as a definition of migration itself. So that sense of in-betweenness can be represented in the prefix inter, in international and intercultural interaction in general. The subtitle of this slide is Suwaif as a translator. What is the meaning of being a translator for Suwaif? Suwaif is a real translator translating her English work into Arabic. The other sense of being a translator for Suwaif is being a cultural translator, translating her Arabic culture and language into English. So like all Anglophone writers, she adopts a translation process hybridizing the cultures and languages of both the ex-colonizer and ex-colonized. Now, who are Anglophone writers? They are immigrant writers writing in English, such as Layla Bulaila from Sudan, uh, Mohsin Hamid from Pakistan, Salman Rushdie from India, and Kamila Shamsi from Pakistan. As an Anglo-Egyptian writer, she writes in both English and Arabic. And as a bilingual writer, she was born in Cairo and educated in Egypt and England. Her novel, The Map of Love, or Kharitat al-Hub, uh, was published in 1999, uh, shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize, and translated into 21 languages. The title here in this slide is Suwaif as a Cultural Translator. Suwaif's works belong to what is known as translational literature, because they focus on the experience of cross-cultural communication and translation. All her fiction deals with characters poised between Western and Egyptian cultures. And an example of that can be found in her collection of stories, which is entitled, I Think of You, because it reverses okay, the meta-narrative of the clash of civilizations and stresses the possibility of cultural communication and dialogue between different cultures and civilizations. Cultural translation in I Think of You. Uh, this collection of stories focuses on the place of a teenage girl called Aisha and an intercultural world. The first three stories, Knowing, 1964, and Returning, all tackle the life of Aisha uh, in her journey between Egypt, her homeland, and the United Kingdom. So it is based on the life of a girl migrating from Egypt to the United Kingdom. Intertextuality is the subtitle of this slide. What is the meaning of intertextuality? It is the relation between different texts as expressed or implied in one frame text through allusions and quotations. So, uh, what is the function of intertextuality? 
in Ahdaf's Swift, it points out the cultural uh, uh, background of the immigrant writer and her cultural media. It stresses her double attachment to two cultural worlds, one of the West, the other of the East. So you have many references to Arabic and Western folk tales, such as Clever Hassan, Shatter Hassan, Cinderella, and Little Red Riding Hood. And you have references to Arabian Nights and Emma Bovary by Flaubert and Catherine Earnshaw by Bronte, okay, to indicate the cultural media of Ahdaf Swayf herself as an Egyptian writer writing in English. And you have uh, uh, the character of Aisha, the Egyptian teenager growing up in England, equally attached to Egyptian folk songs and Western pop songs of the Beatles. The subtitle of this uh, slide is Bilingualism. Uh, bilingualism is a basic strategy of cultural translation. It's both a theme and a technique. Uh, a theme that is uh, typical of all immigrant writings in general, and a strategy or technique that is mainly used by all immigrant writers. So in the case of Ahdaf Suwaif, we have bilingualism of Arabic and English. She borrows lexical items from Arabic and places them into the English text. So you have a lot of lexical borrowings, uh, items of food, of clothes, and occasions, traditions, and customs, so culture-specific and so uh, intrinsic to Arabic culture in particular, such as uh, titles as Mama Hajja or Am Nina uh, and Tant. You have also food items such as fatta, you have clothes items such as abaya, tarha, and religious occasions items such as the small Eid and the big Eid. Thanks a lot for listening to this presentation.